In these examples, we are going to calculate the winnings when betting given certain odds. Now, most of the time when you hear the term odds, and certainly when they are posted or announced, that means the odds against winning. When the odds against winning are low, such as on a horse in a race, that means there is a good chance that that horse will win. Now, odds can be written as a fraction, A over B, but often they're translated as A to B. It's A, and then we have this colon to B. And the creative thing about odds is they can express a monetary payout when you bet. So for this first example, it says, Big Brown was the favorite to win the 2008 Belmont Stakes, making it the first horse to capture the Triple Crown in 30 years. The odds against, and you can see it right here, the odds against Big Brown winning were 2 to 5. If you place a $12 bet on Big Brown to win, what would be the winning payout? So this is very straightforward to determine this. We're going to write the odds here as a fraction, 2 to 5. And we just simply multiply it to the amount of the bet. 2 to 5 times 12, that's 24 fifths. And 24 fifths translates to 4.8. And if we change that to a dollar amount, that's $4.80. So if you make a $12 bet on Big Brown at 2 to 5, you're going to win $4.80. You'll also get your original $12 back, but you'll also get $4.80. Now to read this odds, 2 to 5, that means for every $5 you bet, if you win, you're going to get $2 back. So if we look at the, the next example, Big Brown did not win the 2008 Belmont Stakes. As a matter of fact, the, this horse, which was the favorite to win, actually came in dead last, if you can believe it. The horse that won the race was the long shot Daytara with 30 to 1 odds. And here are the odds here with 30 to 1 odds against. If you placed your $12 bet on Daytara rather than the favorite Big Brown, what would be your winning payout? So again, we write the odds as a fraction. 30 to 1. And what this means is that for every $1 you bet on Daytara, if Daytara wins, you get $30 back. So 30 to 1, we just multiply that to the amount of the bet. That comes out to be $360. Not a bad bet. And there you go.